Get your motor running. Head out on a highway. Have you ever wanted to go on a trip, but you want to keep your diet on point? You practice the mucus diet healing system and you look around and you're like, huh, there's no place for me to eat. That is a huge problem. Where can I get the food that I want on the road so that I can maintain my mucus diet practice while I travel around the world? We need a solution. Well, today we have the solution for you. Thank you, God. The travel salad. We have something great in store for you today. Monica, Hannah, Mia, and our friend Annie is gonna be on here in just a moment to demonstrate and show you the travel salad recipe and how you can maintain this lifestyle on the road. Before that, go down below, click the like button, the subscribe button, hit the notification button, sign up for the free training. If you want more great training like this on mucus-free eating and how to transform your life using the mucus's diet, enroll in my free training session right now. Click the link down there before it disappears. I'm Professor Spira. I practice something called the mucus's diet healing system. I've done so for over 20 years, 21 years, and I've helped thousands of people transform their lives using the methods of the mucus diet healing system. And today, we're going to examine the travel salad. Now, what might this be? What can you do on the road to maintain your practice? Now, that's a great question. There is so many things. Once you understand the principles of the mucus diet healing system, the principles of the transition diet, you start to see the possibilities that there's so many things that you can do. And it inspires you to be more creative and to think through, problem solve. How are you going to do what you need to do while you're on the road. So without further ado, I turn it over to Monica, Hannah, Mia, and Annie, who's going to show you all about the travel salad. Take it away. So hi, I'm Anirudh and Hannah, Mia, and Monica. Today we're making a travel salad. That's so like right. if you're on the road, if you're traveling and you're like, oh, I don't know how I'm gonna follow the mucus diet, I'm you know, I'm so busy, I'm traveling, I can't get anything, can't find anything vegan in the restaurants. There's so many problems. Well, no excuse. Not a single one. Yeah, we're, we're making this right now in a hotel room from just stuff we got from the store. And we're literally, we don't even have a bowl for the salad. So we're, we're gonna, gonna use, use this. this as our salad bowl. So we took some salad out and put it in a bag, saved it for later, and we're gonna build our salad right in here. And then we're gonna just share from there and enjoy our salad. Yeah. Yeah, and if you need anything cooked, like uh, like the cooked sweet potato, cooked Brussels sprouts, we have some cooking over there. We have a rice cooker, so this rice cooker, I'll actually... Here, I'll, I'll, be, or, I'll come. So this is like tiny. You can even get much smaller than this, but this is like a really old one that I have. And it's like all beat up from, be from traveling way too much, being on the road too much. I checked this in in like flights. You can just put it in your check-in bag. You can put it in your carry-on bag. You can even fit this in a backpack. Like if you're on that Spirit or Frontier flight, you can just fit it in the backpack. And yeah, so you put a little water, you put whatever. We, this time we did sweet potato, sweet potato, carrots, and Brussels sprouts. So yeah, mucus, mucus free. Um, and then the salad that we're making is mucus lean. So um, of course, all the mucus forming options are optional. Like we have the sunflower seeds, hazelnuts. I've been really hooked on the hazelnuts. These two have been hooked on the sunflower seeds recently. So that's going to be our little bit of mucus mm -hmm. in the salad. Yeah, I just finished putting the grape yeah, tomatoes, grape tomatoes into pork. Pork's super good. And then we have raisins. Yeah, we have raisins. Two different kinds Two of raisins. Kinds, yeah. yeah, different places, you know, Costco. And wherever you can get, you know, whatever you have access to. I traveled all across the country and the two places that I could always rely on were Aldi's and Costco. So those, those were the places where I could always find something organic, fresh fruits. Honeycrisp apples, they're the best. And Ani did this cool thing. He ripped up an apple okay, yeah. by hand. You, what is this power you have? You can rip open an apple with your bare hands. Oh, it takes a while though. Oh, it's no trouble. I got time. 
I'll be doing it while Hannah cuts. Yes, we're gonna have a, an apple magic trick right now. It's really cool. It'll be a really slow magic trick. A really slow magic trick. Cool. There we go. Oh, oh, yeah. That was amazing! Yeah! Woo! 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 That was so cool. <laughs> So this is going to be a relatively mucus-free salad. Now you could make it mucus-free by simply omitting any nuts. Sweet potatoes, when cooked, are relatively starchless. That doesn't even count to me. And Eric uses carrots so much. I don't, they're more of a mover and a broom. The mucus doesn't really stick because it's so fibrous. Because it's so fibrous, it actually has been known to remove many parasites and things like that. So cabbage and carrots are one of the things I always try to keep on hand. And, and they usually keep really well. Like one time we were camping, the fridge went out. So we had to hurry up and eat all the leafy greens, but the cabbage lasted the whole time. It was like, didn't even need refrigeration and you could continue to eat it. And carrots too, they they hold up really well. These are things that you can always have on hand and, and use in fruit, obviously. Keep them separated, don't keep them too close together sometimes, they last a very long time. The great thing about making your own salad is that you can eat it while you're making it. Yeah. Especially the apples. And the good thing is we don't even have access to salt right now, so it makes it even easier to have a salt-free meal yep. when you're not even tempted because it doesn't exist. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Forgot about salt for a second. See? I forgot about it for Sorry, a week. Sorry, I ruined it for you. <laughs> <laughs> but we don't eat it, so that's the good thing. We got the lemon. This is like the number one most mucus eliminating food on the planet. I don't know if that's true, but it's one of the most mucus eliminating foods. Do you, do you ever add orange as your salad dressing? Too? Sometimes. A little bit of orange and a little bit of lemon. That's how we, how we do Just squeeze it in. Yeah, just squeeze a little, toss it, and that's it. Little lemon, little orange, and that makes it the simplest dressing ever. Little lemon, little orange, and you get a hint of sweet and a hint of sour, and they're both very good eliminators. When I have frozen fruits, I, I love putting frozen pineapple because it makes it really sweet. But oh, I never thought about doing that. We don't have any here because we're on the road. We're not, a, we're not really on the road. We're in a hotel room, but you get the idea. You could do this even if you were on the road, unless you look like the car was driving and it's really bumpy. But then, you know what I do when, when like I'm actually on the road and I don't even have a knife? I just eat all the things separately. You can eat the spring mix, you can eat the carrot, you can eat some raisins with the carrot. Two nights ago, my dinner was, I had carrots, I had raisins, and I had hazelnuts. And I just took a bite out of the carrot, put some raisins in my mouth, and put a couple of hazelnuts in my mouth, and chewed it all together. It tasted perfect. You can just have a dinner like that, a mucus lean dinner. One time I was traveling, I was wanting to be mucus free. The easiest food, and I was driving a lot, because I was going across country to Eric Day last year. Before he said, My God, she came with the, the RV, just he like, came for real. Yeah, yeah, yeah just, just like, uh, ah, we need a transmission. Ah, we don't need one. We just were kidding there. <laughs> we're just kind of, we don't need a transmission. <laughs> And I think I survived a whole week on just eating grapes because it was easy for me to put a bag of grapes while I'm driving and just grab one and nibble as I kept going. Wow. So it was like awesome. And I felt so great. And I was having you felt huge great eliminations. You eating grapes. <laughs> this guy is naturally funny. It was great, great moment. <laughs> it was a great moment. Yep. So berries are really good when you're traveling. They're easy. Strawberries, blueberries, raspberries, because you just wash the dish, leave it there, and there you go. I'm just going to show this real quick so you can see the progress of how the salad is. Oh, we haven't mixed it yet. So yeah. It's mix coming it. along so pretty. One time I tried the Eric's, uh, what's it called? Carrot, celery, and ra apples. Optional raisins and honey, if you want it more aggressive. So I put the raisins and honey, because I wanted it. Well, I didn't really, I just wanted to try it. It was so aggressive. It was like, it was very, very strong. So, so we're gonna add our like seeds on our bowl, or are we gonna put it in the whole thing? You can just put it in the bowl. You can put the hazelnuts too. Do you guys like hazelnuts? You wanna try one and see it? My mom really doesn't like them. She's like, it's really bitter. Okay. Wow, this, I can see all of the colors. I don't know, it tastes like a sunflower peanut. 
mix. Uh -huh. To me, it tastes like Nutella. If anyone's had like the Nutella, it's like this really unhealthy, chocolatey spread. <laughs> Peanut butter. But it's super tasty. If you're craving that taste, just have some raisins and hazelnuts. The exact same taste. Actually, I don't know because the first time I tried the raisins and hazelnuts was like five years after I've ever I last tried Nutella. But to me, it's the same taste. If you like Nutella, try that. Or just put hazelnuts in anything and it'll you, you'll love it. Are we doing like a lemony salad? Lemon every and every salad bit. is a lemon. He put a little lemon and a little orange. Every salad is a lemony salad. He's trapped in a perfect world. Because without lemon, it just feels like dead. Do you guys eat lemonless salads? Mm, no, no, because the dressing <laughs> has lemon in it. Yep, you need the lemon. Because otherwise, in like the in the store, the, what, what is it called? Like the the restaurant salads, they always have vinegar in the dressing. And that's just, that stuff is just nasty. It smells so bad. Yeah, I used, for you I used to you crave pickles lemons. and I used to crave the vinegar still for a little while. And now like I I was, uh, I smelled something that was pickled. It was like pickled jalapenos or something. And I couldn't even stand the odor anymore. Like I know that craving is, is gone mm -hmm. forever. Very blessed. The touching, it like prepares the body's the digestion fat. because it uh -huh. knows what it's going to be eating. Yeah. And, and you know, each finger corresponds to a different element. The fire, fire, water, earth, ether, air. When you have all the five elements mixed with the five elements in the food that connect with the five elements in the body, then all the five elements of the digestion, especially the fire, get revved up and ready to digest. Yeah, I always, we always promote eating with our hands. It's just something that we, and then you connect so intimately with your food too. And when you're eating mucus slain or mucus free like that, like there's nothing gross sticking to your hands. Uh -huh. and it's, there isn't a bunch of oil. There's like nothing. It's just really fruits and vegetables and nuts. I mean, you can't get more simple and easy than that to do on the road. If you're at a hotel, you don't wanna to go to a restaurant and you wanna keep your diet as clean as possible, so many options. You can make it mucus free, mucus lean, wherever you're at in your transition, a salad can be done anywhere. Yeah, and if, you, if you're like really busy, you're on the traveling for some kind of conference or any kind of event like that, and you don't have time to even go to the grocery store, nowadays you have Instacart, samedaycostcocom whatever else. You can get stuff from the grocery store directly delivered to you, wherever you are. So even to your hotel, and that's what we did here. So yeah, no excuses at all. I love it. Yeah, and I hadn't even heard of you can do that. And a lot of people don't like Costco because it's like such huge quantities bulk on our diet we need that amount yeah. we're buying that much anyway so yeah i do i do the costco like probably three times every two weeks and it just they bring it right there and it's like if, if you have a costco membership and my dad has a costco membership so if you buy more than 35 dollars the delivery is free the mixed salad so far hopefully you can see that pretty well we got steamed uh sweet potato call uh, Sweet potato, carrot, and Brussels sprouts. With carrot in there? I can't yeah. tell. It just looks like a bunch of sweet potato. Yeah, it's a lot of orange. <laughs> yeah. Enjoy your meal. I'm, I'm just going to watch like the rest of us here in Cyberland. <laughs> How do you eat the salad? Well, I just pick up pieces. That looks much better than cookies. I'm going to look crap. Now you say that every time. <laughs> And I told her that you were going to say that. Yeah, yeah. This tastes like a carrot. I thought it was a sweet potato, but it's a carrot. So they built their whole salad, and now they're enjoying it. I said, just eat with your hands. It's good for you. Well, thank you so much for joining us. And we're going to enjoy the rest of our salad. And we hope you make your travel salad sometime soon, too. Peace, love, and breath. Yes. Bye. Bye. Doesn't that just make sense? Why, yes it does. Use what you have while you're on the road. Make life fun, easy, and mucus-free while you're transitioning, while you're on the road. There is no excuse. There's no excuse. Did I stutter? 
You can get what you need wherever you are, whatever's going on, all over the world. There's supermarkets that have produce sections, might not always be the best produce. It's not about perfection. I want you to get that out of your head right now. It's about taking action and doing the best you can with what you have access to. If you can get a tub of some lettuce, some vegetables, some fruit, throw it all together, make a salad. If you got some kind of, <laughs> like Andy's got the rice cooker, bring along a propane stovetop oven, whatever it is that you have that you can travel with, do it. Those little butane, you get those little butane things, you can heat some stuff up in there. Problem solved. Don't let that be an excuse. Like, well, I'm traveling, so I gotta eat. No, it's not an excuse. You can make this a priority and continue to eat the foods that you need to be eating that's in alignment with your transition. So if you got some from this video, go down below and thank Monica, Hannah, Mia, and Annie for sharing some beautiful information, showing you how to create a great travel salad and travel meal. And again, hit the like button, hit the subscribe, share this video far and wide. Sharing, huh? Sharing is caring. Help us get this mucus-free message out into the world, out into the universe, because the universe needs it. The universe needs to eat some travel salad. It needs to do some lemon juice and distilled water enemas. It needs to get the parasites and the tapeworms and the slime out of the colon. It needs to remove the inflammation from the body, from the world. <laughs> <laughs> the waste needs to go. You're not welcome here. And there is no excuse, whether you're traveling, whether if you're flying, if you're driving, if you're on a bus, there's no excuse. There's always a way to make it happen. There's always a way to keep the transition alive. So I thank you so much for tuning in. And before you go, what I want you to do, go right here. Here's another video that's made specifically for you. I want you to click right here and I will see you over there. Peace, love, and breath.